Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. I am gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Yes. Right. On The Breakfast Club. Now, Soldier Boy uh, made a comment about New Jersey. Do we have that comment? The original comment he made? Suck my d- Y'all d- ain't gonna never make it out the hood. Legend. Y'all d- gonna die broke. Legend. I wouldn't have dinner with y'all the A's and fisted hoes anyway. Dang. I would not have dinner with no broke ass b- in New Jersey anyway. Damn. I would not have dinner with no crackhead ass looking hoes anyway. Y'all b- could not be in the same room with me. Y'all b- gonna die in the hood. Y'all gonna die All broke. Right. Y'all ain't gonna never touch a million dollars. All right. Y'all ain't gonna never right. touch 30 it. million. All right. First of all, you don't let past the soldier get on that pulpit and then Jesus. try to run past the soldier off the pulpit now. Well, well, you know, I guess soldier boy thought about it. And then called back and he got back on live and wanted to apologize to New Jersey. There's a lot of amazing things in New Jersey. I live in New Jersey. Charlotte lives in New Jersey. I love Jersey. So he called back. He went back on live and he apologized to New Jersey, which I think was very honorable. Honorable. I'm live right now to shout out to all my fans in New Jersey. I feel like yesterday I overreacted yeah. on the video. I ain't even watched the video. I just seen the caption that this was put in and I went live and went off. See, look, I'm trying to be nice. He's about you banned from New Jersey. <laughs> hey, oh, f- New Jersey. We are coming blood. <laughs> you know that's what I'm saying, man. Suck my d- oh. all y'all fans, f- double XL and f- no jumper and f- world star. I, I don't say cheese it. and f- academics and f- all y'all. I ain't squashing. F- Suck my. D-. We don't want to come to New Jersey anyway. Y'all d- is broke. <laughs> Lunell. I I don't particularly care for Mr. Boy. <laughs> Mr. Boy. <laughs> Mr. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Why you don't like Young Soulja? He just, I mean, I, I don't have to like him. He give a damn about me, I'm sure. Yeah. But um, he's just not any kind of example of a artist that I would support mm-hmm. or a person. Yeah. He's a, he's a loose cannon, and um, he's it's too much. The funny thing about him, he's actually a good kid. He's I actually, find Soldier Boy highly he's entertaining. He's very entertaining. He's a good kid. And Soldier Boy is very intelligent. He knows what well, he's doing. Well, it's generational. Yeah, he know he knows what he's doing. I, I I wouldn't care if I never heard his name again. But I want uh people in New Jersey to use that as motivation. Absolutely. All right, you either gonna prove Soldier Boy right or you gonna prove Soldier Boy they wrong. They don't have nothing to prove the damn Soldier Boy. <laughs> Shit. Wait a minute, let me see something. Yeah, that, no. that, that, that was one of the words you can't use. That was one of the words you couldn't use. Yeah. Okay. okay. They don't have nothing to prove the damn Soldier Boy, dang it. Dang it is better. <laughs> <laughs> but the funny thing is like when I hear that, I really feel like when I first heard No Scrubs by TLC, or when I heard Get Up, Get Out, and Get Something by Outkast, I'm like, I'm gonna go make something of myself. I'm not gonna let this but, man but prove me right. But this whole city. The city well, can't be state. concerned about it's a state. the state. Yeah. Right, my bad. The, the state can't be concerned about what the heck soldier boy no, think right, about. You're absolutely right. But if that did uh, bother you in any way and you from Jersey, just use it as motivation to prove him wrong. Absolutely. No, find soldier boy and put your foot in this behind. <laughs> I mean, now, that, that ain't on the list to not that, say. That, that, might, that might happen too. Yeah, that, that might. Know? And then now, <laughs> now, now they're going to say, soldier boy, that fat old lady on breakfast club was talking about you. <laughs> mm. And then. Now. Yeah. Now we got to talk about uh, a sad story. Um, that was sad too. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Now, uh, shout to uh, one of my attorneys. His name is Steve Adad. He called me about this case uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, he's a dope attorney. If you ever need an attorney, anything ever happened to you, and you need some protection, some backing, he will make sure that he protects you, backs you, and gets you the money that you need. I got some boys that protect you and back you too. Legally, Probably, I mean. Oh well. Legally. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Go ahead. Go ahead. Them, them, them boys going to need Steve if you keep, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you keep sending them on these dummy missions. <laughs> yeah, they going to need Steve. So, um, Flo Rida, uh, six-year-old son, is in ICU after falling from a five-story window. Oh, that's horrible, man. Now, uh, what they're saying that happened is uh, when I spoke to him, so I say allegedly because, you know, I was in and out when he was telling me, uh, the mother of the young boy, uh, her name is Alexis, uh, they live in New Jersey, Jersey City, and the building that they were living in, I guess, wanted she wanted bars on the window because she said her son runs around and he's young and they need bars on the window. So they went to install the bars. I'll say allegedly, because uh, I know I don't know the full story. They went to install the bars, but the window, let's say, was a a, a two foot window, and the bar was only one foot. Mm-hmm. So it was still room for the young boy to fall out. Mm-hmm. It was the fifth floor, and the boy fell out. That was the window. horrible. Uh, so the guards weren't put on right. It wasn't the right guards. And thank God that the young boy did not die. He suffered a shattered pelvis, uh, fractures, uh, problems with his liver, internal bleeding, and collapsed lungs. 
So uh, when now he's alive. He is alive. Thank God. Thank you, God. Uh, usually, God. when you hear that, the, the child usually doesn't make it. So mm -hmm. they, there was like this grace of God that he fell. He fell five stories, hit yeah. the pavement, and did not die. Yes. Right. 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 His right. little right. young self. But right. he's pretty uh, banged up now. So now they are uh, filing a lawsuit with the Jersey City's building management. Uh, to make sure that this doesn't happen to anybody else out there again. I mean, that's an easy call if they uh, didn't have the proper measurements in the window, right? If it's supposed to be two feet and it was only one foot. I'll say allegedly because this is the story I heard. So oh, I'll just oh, say gotcha, allegedly. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'm, well, not, I'm not sure the details of the case, but the boy fell out the window and obviously those guards weren't put on right. Well, mm. I lived in a studio apartment for many years before I got my house. My daughter lives in the studio now. And when I, when I, and we don't have, didn't have central air in the studio. I like to sleep with the windows open. When I knew my daughter was gonna come home from college and live there, I put bars on that building myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I asked them, could I do it? They said yes. So you, you hired know, somebody you, to do it? Or I hired somebody, yeah. I, okay. I got come sure did okay. because the night stalker that used to be in LA, you should just slit the uh, screen and come in and rape you. And I knew my daughter was gonna be in there and I couldn't wait for the building to do it. So I put the bars on the three windows myself. Mm. Yikes, what is the Night Stalker? I never heard that story. Uh, yes, you have, John. He was, a, he was a, a serial killer. In LA? Yeah. Yeah, I never heard of it. I never heard of you. Oh, well, you know, I guess it's regional. Yeah, I'm sure. Mm. Well, yeah, that's what happened. So not to say that that's what they should do, but you could have done that. Mm -hmm. You could put them on there yourself. Yeah. Instead of waiting for your slumlord to do it. Yeah, but it, I'm, I'm sure if that was Flo Rida's baby mom, she was living in a slum building. I'm sure well, it was a, a nice building, like you know a what I mean? Lord. Yeah, they That's did. True. Right. They did. That's yeah, true. but I'm I'm just surprised that you know a building like that didn't follow the right protocol to make sure that that child was safe or That's any horrible. children was safe. You know, I'm, I'm I, you know I just pray that that young, young man has a, a speedy recovery. Absolutely, I'm definitely sending him healing energy, and I hope that uh you know they get compensated. Absolutely, you know, and then they, then if then the they, building did actually did do something wrong. Yeah. Well, wait a minute now. So you say okay, if this is Flo Rida's baby mama, mm -hmm. and she probably living in a nice building, I would assume. Well, what they need bars for anyway? For the kid to don't fall out. Well, you gonna put bars on every building? Well, it is Jersey. You do you need me to play Soldier Boy again? <laughs> well, it's not that type of bars. It's not the bars protection bars. It's it's the the thing that they put on the window so the kid can't fall out. It's not protection bars. They oh, didn't put I it didn't know that. I thought you were talking about protection oh, bars. I only too. know about one no, kind of bars. It's not protection bars, baby. You know, hood. They put the protection bars. Oh, that's what I thought watch. you were talking that's about. All too. I know no, about. no, no. In apartment buildings, they put these things in the windows. Um, so the kids can't fall out. So I used to stay at my grandmother's house in Starry City, and they would put these things so you can't push out, so the kids can't lean on it and fall out. The kids can't open the window and fall out. Got you. So there's these like children protection bars that they put on these these buildings oh, to protect the kids from that. falling out. Mean, All I know is how to keep a fool out your. Out no, your no, no, not that type. Not those. It's, oh, it's a fifth okay. story. Nobody gonna climb up five stories to get in the building. You'd be surprised. Yeah, you'd be right? surprised. He's a Spider Man, especially if there's fire escape. <laughs> All right. All right. Well. That is your rumor report. When we come back, we got front page news and DJ Drama will be joining us next hour. So don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.